Oh God, that was so not supposed to happen. All you had to do was let him down easy. Say you'd always be friends and you'll give him a call sometime. You could have left last night with your head held high, but you didn't, you stayed. And now you have to tell him everything. Jack, I have to tell you something. Wait, me first. <sighs> I saw my ex, so upset, nothing happened. He told me about Lauren, how he turned her away the other night when she came by, and how happy he is now that she's out of his life for good. Out of my life, I should have told you. How happy he is now, with me. That's why I want to be with you. You don't play any games. There's no drama. You're not complicated at all. You're just... Riley. I love that about you. Crap. You had sex! You'll need to tell him. No way. Not yet. He loves that I'm not complicated. I, I can't get all complicated now. But this is no good. You have to set the truth free. Uh, or something like that. You mean the truth will set you free? Listen, if you keep this secret inside, it will fester and infect everything else. It will come out all by itself, on your face, in your hair. You will look like my cousin Alfredo. No good. I'll tell them, Alina. I just... Wait. <sighs> Continue. I'll tell them. Then call them now. No, I can't do it on the phone. But you will tell them, no? Shut up, I will. Ooh, you have a huge zit. No. See, it's happening. Mine. Sorry, Melina, I have to go. I have to meet Danielle Sinclair in the Hamptons by noon. The Hamptons? Ugh, we are no longer friends. Love you. Hello, big boy. Whoa. Excuse me, has anyone seen Danielle Sinclair? Anyone? That's blue. I said French blue. Go. Never mind. Which one do you think looks better? Flowers, I think. Flowers, for sure. Lanterns it is. Totally agree. Now, can you just tell me what the bride's wearing? Blogger girl, go away. Come on! Blink twice if it's couture? Uh, excuse me, Miss Sinclair? What's this? I'm Riley Kendrick. Lauren Bell sent me, and I'm her new lead hairstylist. Hell no. Rosemary, too much rosemary. If you need to talk to Lauren, I'm sure she can confirm that she hired me. Dry. Try again. Would you like me to call her for you? Yes. Okay, great. Not you, the salad. Yes to the salad. You, on the other hand, are wasting my time. There is no way I'm going to let Lauren Bell hire a no-name stylist for Fashion Week. Not on my watch. Bye-bye. She's testing you. I'm sorry? Danielle. She's testing you to see if you have enough backbone to get through the mayhem of Fashion Week. You're sort of failing. Really? She does that? All the time. If you want to be lead stylist, you'll have to go back in there and tell Danielle that's what you are. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I'm Addison, by the way. Riley. Oh, I know. Danielle, sorry to interrupt again and all, but I forgot to get my credentials for Fashion Week, and I'll be needing those. Is this a joke? Is someone playing a joke? Do I really look like someone with a sense of humor, people? No. I told you, Lauren sent me, and I just spent four hours getting here, and I'm not leaving without getting the information I came for. Who do you think you are? I'm Lauren Bell's lead hairstylist. That's who the hell I am. That did not go well. That's her. Hello? People are staring at me. That would be because you just gave Danielle Sinclair's ego a little trim, no? What are you talking about? I think you are the victim of a fashion blotter. You mean blogger? Which one? The one, Addison Parker. <sighs> I'm gonna kill myself. Oh no, that's Lauren. I'm so fired. Did you tell her yet? Hello? You gave Danielle Sinclair's ego a trim? Okay, I, I am so hilarious. You've got balls, Riley. I knew I hired the right girl. Get back here ASAP. But... The magical things I have in store for you, Riley Kendrick. It's time to play. Thank you.
Oi, that Edison Parker blog. You never know where she's at. She's behind you. Little girls don't know how to be sweet girls. Mama didn't teach me. Little boys don't know how to treat little girls. Daddy didn't show me.